know your place, worm. Prepare yourself. Damn Saiyan. If you guys have been following me long enough, you know that I don't pull any punches. I tell you guys how it is, how I feel about it, whether the opinion is popular or it is not popular. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. First of all, there are three animes that I'm currently watching. Actually, there are really four animes that I'm currently watching. And each one consistently, every episode has consistent animation, art and animation. Every single one. You have Hunter x Hunter, which is an older anime, but I'm watching the English version right now. Then you have Attack on Titan Season 2, consistently the same animation. I'm watching My Hero Academia, amazing animation. Even the, We just got past this little tournament they just had, and it was phenomenal. It was awesome, great animation all around. And then finally, Boruto, which actually the only really reason that I was drawn to Boruto because um, I wasn't really vibing too much with them going with the story more was the fact that the animation was so good and actually I'm glad that I'm watching it because the story is alright but the animation is really good and I really do appreciate that. I love Dragon Ball Z and I love Dragon Ball Super but I will critique it and this episode it wasn't the worst animation that we've ever seen. It wasn't the animation that we saw when uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku was fighting Beerus by any means. It wasn't anything even close to Frieza, the bad animation with the Golden Frieza Frieza Saga or the Frieza Saga or whatever the hell you want to call it for Dragon Ball Super but it was just not up to par it just didn't look good the fight scenes didn't look good um, the animation for the characters didn't look good for some reason they always seem to have really low budget animation when it comes to showing Qualifa lately anyway Qualifa and uh, Kill actually looked not that bad but Qualifa especially it just doesn't look that good and in this time in this episode we got a return of Pitbull Beerus is what I've been calling him is when you take a picture of Beerus and this episode there's a few other episodes in Dragon Ball Super and he looks like a Pitbull he looks like a dog instead of a cat and and it just looks bad and I told you Dragon Ball Super I told you you guys need to keep the animation the same animation company that did the Frieza uh, episodes a couple episodes back the Frieza episodes you need to keep those because that is the prime real good animation I don't see why you cannot have why this is the biggest anime in the world in my opinion and you have you don't have consistent animation it, it, it I don't understand it I really don't so um, that's my real rant at the beginning of this episode now I'm gonna go ahead and get into some of the episode of and, and nitpick some of the parts that I you know that I like that I dislike and stuff and uh, you guys know if you guys have been watching me my reviews for these episodes that's kind of how I do it I, I take notes normally so the first thing I want to comment on is the time limit there is a time limit for this tournament as we've known and that's what the pillar in the middle of the stage means it means the longer the more it goes down that means the less time you really have to knock people out of the ring so I kind of over I had an oversight on this I really didn't think about it too much but now that I'm thinking about it yeah it's gonna happen at the end of the, they're gonna run out of time and there's probably gonna be like four or five maybe six fighters um, left there's gonna be a small amount of fighters left more than likely and it's gonna be Goku Vegeta more than likely I'm, I'm just guessing here Frieza hit Jiren Topo maybe maybe so another one or two of the other uh, characters from the other universes that I really can't remember at this point right now another gripe that I have with this episode um, and you know so that actually might be interesting because I do like the Royal Rumble is interesting and I was excited for it up until this episode when I actually got to see it and it was just so chaotic and hectic and all over the freaking place that it, it, it just it just seemed like they just threw Dragon Ball characters at the screen and that's the problem they have they're having now like I didn't think about it before and and now and I, I guess I should have been made aware when Qualifa and Kale just transformed the Super Saiyans randomly without any real backstory to them really um, Dragon Ball Super is going through the uh, superhero sickness is what I'm gonna call this. There's probably a name out there for it, but I'm not gonna look for it right now. And what I mean is that you have, when a superhero movie has more than one or two villains or more than one or two characters in their superheroes, and, and each one, they try to give each character enough time, but it, overall it seems like a discon a movie that's all over the place that's not connected and that's why um avengers uh, uh not avengers uh, captain america civil war did real well even though it had so many characters in the actual uh movie that 
it focused on Captain America first and foremost. It focused on him and then his relationship with Winter Soldier. All the other characters just came along for the ride. And that's the best way to do something like that. Right now, Dragon Ball Super, especially if this episode is any indicator for the rest of the episodes, for the Tournament of Power, it's going through like Spider-Man 3, the original Spider-Man 3 badness, where all these characters are all over the place. Each one tries to get their own amount of time, but there's really no focus. And that's kind of what the downer is of this episode. Um, I did like the universe nine character the trio danger character um i believe his name is basil if i if i'm if i recall it has been a while since i looked up or cared about any of those three dog characters but um yeah the kicker basil i'm pretty sure that's, that's that was his name and i liked the fact that they showed that he wasn't that they weren't weak compared to some of the other characters um they were kind of strong and he what he did is he kicked what I'm still going by is uh, God Key just because it looked like kind of a God Key. He eats uh, something that the Supreme Kai gets and that's what gives him this power. And he kicks and he, sh he shoots these balls at them and he kicks them off the stage. We lost the butterfly chick which I really actually kind of liked her. I liked her animation and stuff like that. And once you fall off the stage, you just end up into the stands. And it was funny because I was looking at the stands and I'm like, those are pretty empty stands. There's only really like three or four characters in each section. And then I realized that's supposed to be the entire freaking um, Universal teams or whatever. So. I I definitely like the fact that they, they you know they gave him they gave him some uh, screen time I mean they gave him some screen time in this episode but again this is gonna go with another gripe that I have but I'm gonna get to that in, in a little bit um, I did not like I really did not like when the universe 7 team got surrounded by what seemed to be a mosh pit of different universes and yeah we already know that all the universes kind of a lot of the universe made a pact to attack universe 7 so it doesn't it makes sense that there's different characters from each one but like and then the, the z fighters attacked them but it didn't seem to do anything and it was actually really comical it wasn't serious at all and it just showed how weak these guys were the universe 7 team is really honestly the, or at least the fighters that got left behind because you know vegeta uh, goku frieza and android 18 and 17 had to go off and do their own thing so um the one thing i really didn't like is when they were all surrounding them they were like all snickering like he 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 like 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 that like snickering like like generic bad guys it was just really really cheesy I, I really did not like that even some characters that don't you wouldn't think snicker like that you could hear them snickering like they were all evil or something like that i don't know i just did not like it it just it just seems so cheesy to me um and and again there's there was just too much going on and there was too many things that was dis disjointed the one thing i really did like actually with through all this chaos was the explosions they were i did i realize now that they all have um key uh, powers so them having explosions throughout the entire ring like the entire ring covered in explosions actually that was pretty cool i i, I kind of didn't really think about that really too much um Another thing is that Xenos have God Pad, which is an iPad, obviously. Uh, and I actually like this this concept that they have, like God Tube, God Pad. I like how they take modern things and, and put them into like a, a more, uh, um, I guess, godly sort of sense. And I guess in this one, they keep track of the fighters that fell off. So I guess toward the end, they're going to figure out which universes are going to be destroyed. And actually, now that I've seen a lot of these characters... Um, I'm hoping some universes get destroyed because this is this is ridiculous. Uh, they've had uh, this is why I wanted them. I, I told you guys in my last a couple videos ago, they should have had only five fighters each universe, not ten, because with ten you have to like come up with different characters and different character designs randomly. And I, and and there were just too many. Like there were honestly, now that I've seen them all, and maybe I have to see some more in depth. There were no character designs that I really really like besides the ones we already know from Universe Six, like Qualifa and Kale, and um, any the Pride Troopers. I honestly like most of the Pride Troopers designs. But besides that, any other universes I really don't care about. I really don't care at all about them so if they got destroyed i really wouldn't care honestly so bad character designs they needed to work on the character designs they need to make more awesome character designs it's a shame that naruto a show that came out a long time ago could come up with some pretty badass character designs as opposed to this that you know they really couldn't and i feel like they put more effort into the character designs of um of uh what's it called uh, the universe six tournament with kaba and, and and hit and all those characters than they did with any of the characters that they've had right now. So hopefully there are some characters that maybe we haven't seen yet that I can latch on to that I like. But so far, really um, nothing. Uh, it was really hard to tell power, the power scaling between all of them since there was so much going on. Especially at one point where Topo was fighting Magetta and they were fist and fist. And, you know, again, the fighting in this episode was just... Uh, 
I gotta say it, it was garbage, honestly. They, they could do so much better. They show they could do better in the last couple episodes with the Frieza stuff. So I don't understand why they, they, they go through this really cheap and easy way of making animation. And, 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 and they even recycled fights. They, re they showed you uh, Vegeta fighting a character. I don't even know who it was. And then you, they showed 18 and 17 also fighting and Frieza fighting on their own. And Goku, you know, was fighting the, one of the assassins guys or whatever. And I guess you could see him, but and, and you could see new things from Goku. But the rest of the characters, they just didn't get enough. Um, they just they just kept reusing the, the, the actual fighting of them. Like, I saw Vegeta fight that same guy like two or three times. Like, they just kept... Co copy and pasting that throughout the episodes and, and, and it was just it just seems so cheap in my opinion and please 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 enough of goku putting his guard down we understand it goku should not be this fucking retarded when he uh like actually had some decent battle sense in dragon ball z then dragon ball super yeah they 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 heart i thought it was cool that in battle of the gods and and, and in the beginning of super that oh yeah we realized like yeah goku puts his guard down that was part of the frieza the golden frieza arc or whatever that was pretty cool because i didn't yeah it's true frieza, goku has put his guard down every once in a while you know in dragon ball z yeah that's one of his flaws and then frieza and then vegeta's was that he's all wound up he's always trying to be the best always show you know all this stuff so it made sense but then now they've used it they've overused it it's overkill now that goku puts his guard down so much he put his guard down this dude this random orc from from mordor from from middle earth just put him in a chokehold and almost took him out until goku went super saiyan blue like uh, it's, it's stupid man just don't stop stop it with the goku putting his guard down he really doesn't need to he doesn't need to do that and then lastly um I'm going to go ahead and tell you how this episode should have gone. So first of all, the episode should focus on the Universe 7 fighters first and foremost. That is our pillar. That is what we need to focus on. Not all these other characters, though it's good that we get to see these characters sort of in some light. I feel like this is not the time to do it. We need some focus in this chaotic tournament. So it should have focused on the Universe 7 fighters. Then we should have had the same fighters leave. Frieza, uh, um, Android 18, 17, Goku, and Vegeta leave to fight on their own and leave the, and leave the group, leave the herd. Then we should have had a bunch of the all the all the bunch of the minor characters that are weaker, or maybe uh, surround the rest of the Z fighters, and as they try to, um, and then the rest of the episode should have been them, you know using teamwork and strategy like they apparently like you know they their the strategy of fighting two on one they should have been using that and that should have been the episode having shown their teamwork and showing them fighting like that and then throughout the episode you could have still had the two guys um getting kicked off the ring the the, the butterfly chick and the orc you could have had them you know just a quick uh you know clip of them getting thrown out of the ring or whatever and then cutting back to uh the, the universe uh seven fighters you know fighting for their lives or or then and then they fight and then a, a stronger opponent comes that really like would be on maybe like you know not vegeta level but i don't know maybe 18 level or some 17 level whatever you want to put them and then have them all fight him and you know and then it, you, you know you should have focused more on them not just so scattered all over the place that's my biggest gripe of this episode it just they're, they're they're getting they're getting caught up in the superhero sickness where you have all these superheroes and you have n no anchor you have all these different things all these different ships and none of them are anchored and they're all drifting off in different directions so did i like this episode no I did not like it. The next episode looks more interesting. Looks like it's gonna be more focused on Goku, which is fine. Goku is the main character. That's fine. Focusing on Goku. Um, it looks like he's got like this kind of white outline around him. So I'm kind of hope. I'm kind of wondering what that is, and and hopefully it, it, it kind of gives us a glimpse of whatever he's gonna become toward the end of the of the uh, arc. Um, and then you see him just fighting different characters and stuff. So uh, more of the tournament. Hopefully it's more focused. And and like I like I kind of you know guessed before. The beginning of the tournament is going to be all these little minor characters getting kicked off the ring, and then toward the end they're going to have the heavy hitters that we're going to fi finally get to see, getting to get get some light. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments below what you guys thought of this episode. I'm sure most of you guys did not think as negatively as, as I did of this episode. So let me know what some of the pros that you guys see from this episode, or some of the things that you wish they could have done better. Drop me a like if you like my video, and this is going to be Dragon Ball Black signing off. Mm -hmm.